I cannot believe we are already talking about this time of year, but uh, annual enrollment right around the corner. And this morning, we are happy to welcome back uh, MyCare Medical Group. And uh, certainly, good morning. We have James Free there and uh, Dr. Shaw joining us this morning. And again, I know this is probably surprising to you that we're already talking about open enrollment. Such an important time, though. Doctor, let's start with you because this is the time where I think people should be really focusing on, and I, I hate to put you on the spot, but do I like my doctor? Am I getting what I need from them? This is the time to make those changes, right? Right. So, you know, people change to me as a, from a patient so all the time. And what I would say, what, what you would expect when you come and see me the first time is that you, you should be treated like a human being. And I'll elaborate a little bit. You know, everybody is good at what they do. You know, you're good at, you know, you, they can wake you up at three o'clock in the morning, Carly, and you can <laughs> do an interview. James is phenomenal at marketing. So that doesn't make me or you or James any better than the other person. So, and I embody that. I, I really, I really, I really believe that I'm not a better person than you. So when the patients come in to see me for the first time, they sense it. They sense it that this this doctor is not treating me like a like a number. They're treating me like a human being. And right then and there, they open up to you, and they sense it that they're they're being treated like a human being. And so th and that's usually the first time I meet my patients, and that's their their experience. I love that. We need more of you like that because I think that's all anybody. They, they really want to make sure they're being heard and being listened to and looked at, not just like another number. What do you want people to take in mind um, when, again, this important um, timetable is coming up on, on making these decisions? What do you want people to know? So to know that, again, like I said, to be treated like a human being. So when they come and see me for the first time, um, I mean, I guess, I guess, uh, if you may, I, I, I have, a, I sort of have a gift. I don't want to uh, say it like that, but I, I do feel like it's like a gift. So when they come in and see me for the first time, I can relate to them. You know what they like, what they dislike. May they be about sports. May they be about their family. May they be about their health. And then communicate with them and connect to them at that level. And as soon as they see that they're they're being connected at a personal level, they open up to you more and they be more comfortable with you. And then there are more and more, uh, more people come to you that way. Yeah. yeah. No, you, that is a gift. And I think we need more of you like that. I would imagine this is very rewarding for you and that you've been able to really kind of walk patients kind of through some difficult times as well. And obviously the end goal is optimal health. Do you have any kind of rewarding experiences? I'd imagine it's oh, their baby. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. Um, I'll just I'll tell you the one that just happened to me like maybe a couple of days ago. So um, there is a there is a medical assistant that's joined us about a month ago or two months ago, and for the last three four weeks, her mother's in the hospital. She's very frustrated. She's like, Doctor Shah, can she please switch to you? Can she please switch to you? I said I I don't have any problems, but she's in the hospital. So as soon as she got out of the hospital, she she um, established with me about a week ago. And I met her for the first time. I had already reviewed her chart from the hospital. And as soon as I walked in the room, instead of calling her by her name, I called her mom. Right then and there, she loved it. No. And then I saw that a few days, few days before it was her birthday, and I said, Mom, happy belated birthday. So then it, it, it went on. I knew I knew her story from the beginning, medically speaking. I knew what she was dealing with. And then I came up with a regimen for her. And the my medical assistant, she came to me two days ago and she walked into my office. She said, Dr. Shah, your regimen works. It just no. really works. My mom is doing great. She's not short of breath anymore. She's moving around. She's walking. And yesterday she made her own breakfast. No. And, See, and you do have a gift. So, We're almost out of time, and I want to make yes. sure that I bring James in here because yes. I, the biggest question, I know people are hearing the doctor and going, I want a doctor like that. So he can't treat everybody. So as we get ready to close up, I know brag on your team because he certainly is not the only one. Absolutely, you want a doctor like Dr. Shar. Let me, and let me tell you why. At MyCare Medical, did you see how he lit up when he talked about that patient? 
we understand that sometimes a doctor can seem intimidating because of their credentials and their medical expertise, but we try to break it down so that they actually relate to our patients as humans, understand everything about them so that they can break it down and get and get better uh, health diagnosis and uh, and understand how to best treat them. So uh, Dr. Shaw is typical of all of our providers, uh, but he's also atypical because he's Dr. Shaw. I know, I know. Again, we need more of Dr. Shaw's, but we know you have a great team. Now is the time to make those tough decisions and it make a move if you need to. There is the information to find out more, the phone number, the website. Gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you for your time this morning and thank you for all you do, Dr. Shaw. Thank you for having us. Have a nice Bye. day.